Sneaky Nation, welcome back. The channel is finally about to start getting active again after about a month long absence. And in case you missed it, I did upload an update video on what you can expect coming up in the future right before this one. So go check out my playlist in case you missed it. But in this video, we're going to do an introduction to the Atlas Warframe. Warframe is going to have a smaller presence on the channel than it has in the past, but we will still be making videos on it. So keep that in mind. Alright, now anyways. So, based on his stats, especially his high armor, he's obviously meant to be more along the lines of a melee slash tank Warframe. And a lot of his abilities actually take that into account. So let's take a look at them one by one. First up, we have Landslide. Bash enemies with an explosive sliding punch. Repeat for a devastating combo. This is by no means the most important ability in the game, and it's really not even that complicated either. You're just going around and you're meleeing enemies, essentially. It's a little bit cooler though, because you actually take down multiples at once. You can even combo it together. I'm really curious how effective this would be with a power efficiency build, so you can essentially cast it over and over again without any concern. So I'll be trying that in the future for sure. Next up we have Tectonics, summon a rock wall, activate again to send the rocks crashing toward the enemy. Now in my limited time with this, this actually does seem to be pretty useful. You can put it up as both a tactical advantage to you because you create yourself a little bit of cover, and then you also have the benefit of attacking the enemies who are behind them because look at that, it just rolls right into them and also explodes after it gets past them. And you can even take down one enemy, it's kind of a waste in that case though. The third ability is Petrify, fossilize foes with Atlas Heart and Gaze. Now this operates in a very similar fashion to Chroma's first ability where he just walks around and spits fire everywhere. It does require a pretty close proximity so you have to get in close and personal. But once you do, look at this, you turn all your enemies to stone and then they're vulnerable to just destroy very easily. And it just works out great in the end. And finally, his ultimate ability, which is also my favorite out of all of his abilities, Rumblers. Summon two elemental stone brawlers to the melee. Okay, so this is actually pretty similar to Necros' ultimate ability in the sense that you gain kind of like NPC pets to help fight alongside you and your team. However, there are some pretty big differences. Number one, with Necros, he's burning back enemies who were previously killed and then they're fighting alongside you. They do of course have the same exact abilities and strengths as their living counterparts. There are typically a lot more of them too with Necros. However, even though Atlas has fewer, they do seem to be a lot more powerful and a whole lot more useful. They go around, they basically melee enemies up in the air, do uppercuts, causing all kinds of epic kills that you're seeing in this little mini montage. And they can also have some range too by throwing the big rock in their face too. So they're useful in all kinds of levels. And I enjoy using them so much, I mean, they basically play the game for you. And you know me by now, I never complain about that. Alright, so all four of his abilities actually seem to be pretty useful, and he's certainly a lot of fun to use. He's become one of my favorite Warframes, as a matter of fact, lately. And I'm not really sure how effective he is in endgame content. I don't imagine he would replace any of the typical four you'd want to use to go in high-level missions, but... He's certainly a lot of fun to use, mixes up the gameplay a lot, and I definitely look forward to using him a lot more coming up. Now, you may be wondering exactly how you get him in case you don't already know. You come into your codex, go to quests, and then go down to the Jordis preset. And then you complete that, you get the blueprint for him, and then I guess there's some kind of Arquin mission that unlocks after you complete this, and then you go there to get the remaining blueprints to finally complete them. Anyway, Sneaky Nation, thank you so much for watching as always. Oh, damn, that got in my way. Thank you so much for watching as always, I do hope you enjoyed, be sure to click like if you did. Also if you happen to be new around here, join us in Seeking Nation by clicking subscribe. And I definitely appreciate everybody who stuck around during this long break. It's definitely unusual to take that long of a break, but we're coming back stronger than ever and I hope you're excited about the future of the channel as much as I am. So I will see you next time.